Yes. Now get this, there are no more excuses not to work out at the cottage this summer because here with a Muskoka chair workout, please welcome fitness expert Stacy Irvine. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us not only hydrated but also a little bit sweaty because why not enjoy all the perks of being by a lake? including the chairs, the Adirondack exactly. chairs, the Muskoka chairs, whatever exactly. you want to call them. Yes. You can get a full workout done with these chairs. You definitely can. I want you to make sure you never look at these chairs the same way again. Right. We think yeah. about yeah, coffee, we think about cocktails yes. on these chairs. But new research is showing that if we can get just more movement in during the day, yep. it doesn't necessarily matter what type of movement. We don't have to be specific. We just got to move more. Yeah. So I looked at these types of chairs. I thought, you know what? These are great for many different exercises. So before the coffee, before the cocktails, do a few exercises, then plop yourself down and enjoy your drink. Okay, that's interesting, because I told the audience that if they want to have their cocktail at 10 a.m., they can do this at 2 p.m. But let's just Perfect. reverse it. Perfect. Well, let's reverse it. So we'll do the I'm workout to first, anything. and then later on we have the cocktail. So there's a few, we've got sort of a more beginner, uh, We're going to post a beginner yeah. and then an advanced on the website. Yes. And then kind of I'm going to tell you how to work it in between as well. Right. So I'm going to do some of the beginner moves with you, whatever I can that handle and not fabulous. mess my hair up. <laughs> how do we okay, want to start? We're going to start with push-ups. So for beginner push-ups, we want to be elevated. So we put our hands on the arms. Yep. And I'll then we lower our chest to the chair. Okay. So How many are we doing? Okay. okay. That's more than enough. Okay. Now we're going to switch to lunges. So we're going to use the chair arm as a balance point. So we're going... Upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. That Smart. lets you keep working, right? That's so you don't right. have to stop and rest. Now let's think, okay, if we're doing this in real life, how many push-ups am I doing? How many lunges am I doing? Do we want to do like 10 to 15, 10 to yes. 12? Yes. Yes. And okay. on the website, I've got 20, but that's what you would work up to. Okay. Oh, okay. Dips. All right. So for a beginner dips, your feet are flat and your knees are bent. Yep. And you're just going to dip yourself right down. Look at you, you're already doing advanced. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to show off, sorry. Such a keener. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mine right behind me. Should I really be on the handles? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Wherever so you're this is a tricep situation happening. You got it. And Back to the arms. We end with squats, but we want to hit our hips to the chair, and it's deceptively oh, gee. kind of low. I didn't <laughs> practice this one. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> Got it. So just, you, you got to get back up, people, once you yeah. get down. Yeah. That's the thing, right? So give it a little bum tap. And there you uh, go. That's listen, it. Listen, this is a great... Is do it, this your like, getting up, yes, right? Yes, yes, I'm feeling it. So three I'm three times in a row, maybe do three circuits. <laughs> yes. And you're like... <sighs> yeah, a little feel bit. Good, a little right? bit of work. Okay, let's go to advance. So let's do it. We're making... We're doing similar exercises, but harder. So the right. push-ups we're going to do on a decline. Oh, Lordy. So that makes them... Oh, oh Lordy. Yeah, this is good. You're earning your drinks. Yes, Stacy. And yeah, we're going to do a hip lift. Very good. So, you again, we're going to go to one leg because that yeah. makes it harder. So, we're going to push up. Yes. With one leg. Now, in terms of what you're working here, you've got the hamstrings glutes going, you've got the glutes going. Yep. This is a really good Lower workout. Back. What I find is every time you just do one leg, it's like everything is multiplied. It's much harder. Right? It's much harder. Yes. Okay. That's excellent. Back to the dips. Yes. So now to make this harder, we're going to go straight leg. Oh, okay. As we go down, yes. the knee comes in. Oh, that's good. So we got a bit of abs. Yes. <laughs> See, I like this because when I, and, and please don't faint when I say this, when I go away on vacation, yes. I like to work out. This is perfect. Because it's part of the whole feeling good. Yes. I yes. also like to eat and drink everything. So it's a balance, right? <laughs> Me too. I right? And this is so easy. But you don't need, there's nothing special. You don't have yeah. to be changed. Yes. You can be in your bare feet. You could be in your bathing suit. You can suit. be in your bathing suit and your cover-up. You're good. You're just trying to move a bit more. Okay, the final yes. one here. Go ahead. You come to me. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Whatever you need, honey. Single leg squat. Oh, my gosh. Not easy. Okay. <laughs> this is not for the faint of heart. This is a pistol squat. Um, but that's these all are. That's we're going to do. Yeah, that's all we need to do. <laughs> that's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. What I was going to say is 
You need sometimes a workout that requires no equipment. I'm not I'm not packing dumbbells. No. Why the would most, you? You're on vacation. Right? The most yeah. I would ever pack might be a resistance band. And even yes. that, I don't want to do it. So if yeah. you can figure out some way to move even for 10 minutes in your day with the chairs, you're doing well. And you're doing amazing. The, I think it's the best way to do it. There. Very good. Okay.